Shanghai, China. In this episode of Pink Cider, ITTF is visiting one of the largest table tennis ball manufacturers in the world, Double Happiness, where we meet Mr. Yang Junwei, director of the factory. Welcome to DHS. This visit will get you a better understanding about the DHS balls and their production process. The life of a table tennis ball begins here, in this small hall on the west side of the factory. Their journey may be starting off fairly innocuously as tiny plastic sheets, but by the end of the day, they'll be so much more than that. Before getting shaped, all the plastic sheets are weighed, measured and checked for quality to ensure the standard of both ball halves. The first step in the production line is the shaping of the ball halves. Round copper heads press the sheets into shape. While being shaped, hot water is also dripped onto the sheets to avoid cracks. The final halves still have a big edge, which needs to be trimmed in the next fully automatic step. Once the edge is cut, the ball halves are ready to be glued together. This happens here. The individual ball halves are put in pairs into the copper moulds of the gluing machine. The solvent has to be well spread, and once finished, a whole ball shapes up. The balls are distributed in these linen bags that are then brought into another hall where they get the final touch. Exactly how the balls get their perfectly round shape is a factory secret. We keep the finished balls in stock at a certain temperature and humidity. In the past, due to the instability of nitro-cotton, which is the main ingredient of celluloid, the balls had to be kept in here for 60 days. But now, with a new environmentally friendly material, it only takes 15 days. As you might be able to tell, my sweat is running down like raindrops in the warehouse, where it is about 45 to 50 degrees Celsius. Once the balls leave the storage room, it's time for quality control. Every ball has to undergo a strict inspection by the automatic assembly line. From the balls that pass through this line, the competition balls are then picked and have to undergo a second testing, by hand. In five steps, it will be determined if the ball is going to make the mark. The first step is to check the quality of the surface of the ball. The ball is held along the seam to check its interior and exterior surface under the light from a lamp, paying attention to its two tops at the same time. This ball, for example, has an uneven seam. It gets sorted out. Next up, the balls are tested on their veer. One after another, they roll down a table of a certain angle and length. If it deviates from the center line by more than 175 millimeters, the ball will be disqualified. Step three is the hardness. A special device can measure the hardness of balls on different spots. With the seam of the ball kept parallel to the circular base, the hardness of the top spots gets measured on both sides. The balls are then categorized by the difference in hardness. Step 4. The balls are weighed accurately on the scale and must fall in between the 2.68 grams to 2.76 grams range to pass. The last step is roundness. After the measurement is set, the deviation on the device must be between 2 and 2.4 millimeters. Hence, the size of the ball must be between 40.00 and 40.40 millimeters. All the balls that pass the quality inspection are ready to get the DHS logo printed on them. In two steps, the dual color logo is transferred onto the balls. The balls are finished and ready to be packed for shipping. 
The packaging machine is fully automatic and can pack up to 1,200 balls per minute. The whole production line can produce up to 600,000 balls per day. That equals the yearly manufacture of 200 million table tennis balls. Our D40 Plus balls are now ready to be shipped all over the world.